Today we are introducing new legislation to keep my promise to you, to stop the boats. My policy is very simple. It is this country and your government who should decide who comes here and not criminal gangs. Now the first step is understanding the nature and scale of what we are dealing with. The number of people entering the UK illegally in small boats has more than quadrupled in just the last two years. Those illegally crossing the channel are not directly fleeing a war-torn country or persecution or an imminent threat to life. They have traveled through safe European countries. They are paying people smugglers huge sums to make this dangerous and sometimes tragic journey. Now the reason that criminal gangs continue to bring small boats over here is because they know that our system can be exploited. That once here, illegal migrants can make a multitude of asylum, modern slavery, and spurious human rights claims to frustrate their removal. And the risk remains that those individuals just disappear into the black economy. Now that is the reality we must deal with. And with 100 million people displaced around the world, if we do not deal with it now, the situation will just get worse and worse. People must know that if they come here illegally, it will result in their detention and swift removal. Once this happens, and they know it will happen, they will not come and the boats will stop. That is why today we are introducing legislation to make clear that if you come here illegally, you can't claim asylum. You can't benefit from our modern slavery protections. You can't make spurious human rights claims. And you can't stay. We will detain those who come here illegally and then remove them in weeks, either to their own country if it is safe to do so, or to a safe third country like Rwanda. And once you are removed, you will be banned as you are in America and Australia, from ever re-entering our country. This is how we will break the business model of the people smugglers. And this is how we will take back control of our borders. Now, this bill provides the legal framework needed to deliver this in a way that no other legislation has done before. This is tough, but it is necessary and it is fair. And this legislation will be retrospective. If you come on a small boat today, the measures in this bill will apply to you. It's completely unfair on the British people who have opened their homes to genuine refugees, but are now having to spend nearly £6 million a day to put up illegal migrants in hotels. It's unfair on the people who come to this country legally to see others skipping the queue. And it's devastatingly unfair on those who most need our help but can't get it as our asylum system is being overwhelmed by those traveling illegally across the channel. If we can't stop the boats, our ability to help genuine refugees in future will be constrained. <coughs> Full control of our borders will allow us to decide who to help and to provide safe and legal routes for those most in need. Now I understand there will be debate about the toughness of these measures. All I can say is, we have tried it every other way and it has not worked. So I say again, my policy is very simple. It is this country and your government who should decide who comes here, not criminal gangs. And I will do whatever is necessary to achieve that.